three to four knots on the tailwind, coming back a little bit of a headwind on this end. Always thinking about those winds and when to chop it, when to drop it. Nice bounce on the Highlander. Take that. Oh, Kathy beats him in the turnaround. Never too late. Now that Highlander be, be able to catch up. No, she's got a good lead. Kathy's got a real good lead. Cargo pod and all. She's been out all summer bouncing around the country, the back country, and then out to Oshkosh. Actually, she went all the way up to Alaska and then out to Oshkosh and back. That's right. Very close on the finish on that one to see who stopped first. Another item you mentioned was not only the suspension that will keep the airplane on the ground, glued to the ground on the landing and not bounce, but also what you're doing with brakes, super braking compared to any other aircraft. Yeah, we're doing a lot of braking technology. Uh, Behringer Brakes has been coming out with a lot of good systems to help us get these aircraft stopped, especially with the big wheels. Looks like Harry Beaupre in the number two lane and Hal Stockman from Elko, Nevada in the number one lane. Quite a lead with that turbo. Yeah, Harry likes to kick that kit fox up into a real big side slip. Bleed that speed off as quick as possible. I don't know if the folks can see it, but the aircraft in uh, lane one, as soon as you touch down, boom, the flaps are up, like a nanosecond. That's a good point, Al. As soon as you touch down, you want to get that weight on the wheels, get the lift off of the wings and weight on the wheels by snapping those flaps up as quick as you can. So these are manual, manual hair trigger flaps. That's another advantage that uh, Hal has in that design over the flap runs, is he can get those highly effective flaps up real quick.